Hi, this is Troy Rink for Denver 7, and as it stands now, Broncos coach Vic Fangio has no plans to bench struggling quarterback Drew Locke. Now certainly, Locke's statistics scream that he must improve. He has 10 interceptions, 7 touchdowns, and a league-worst 55% completion percentage. He's not getting it done. Now, he's not alone. The offensive line has been spotty at best. They haven't established a running game. They really have no offensive identity. But it makes no sense to bench luck. You've got to see what you have over these next seven games to determine. Do you need to go out and get a clear veteran, a Matt Stafford, Matt Ryan type? Do you trade for someone like Sam Darnold, who will be likely available? Or do you go into the draft and find a rookie and that next franchise quarterback? But one thing that could sign Lyde Locke is a rib injury. He's dealing with a strained oblique, sore ribs. He needs to have a good week of practice to start. He's already struggling. The last thing you want to do is send him out there compromised. So see how that plays out as the week goes on. One positive story for the Broncos, the development of their young wide receivers. Jerry Judy, as I've said, is better in space than NASA. He is on pace for right at 1,000 yards. That would set a new Broncos rookie record. K.J. Hamler is starting to pop now. He had the big catch against the Chargers that won that game. But over the last two games, he's exceeded 100 yards total, way more targets. He is showing how unique his speed is and his acceleration. He said today that it was a blessing that he hurt his hamstring early in training camp and allowed him to step back, to journal the plays at practice, to learn the offense, and you're seeing that pay off now. I look for him to finish with somewhere around 40 catches, 450 yards, and three to four touchdowns. That's a nice rookie year, especially as you project it going forward with he, Jerry Judy, and a healthy Cortland Sutton. So some things to look forward to. One thing Hamler with him, he's really close with his family. They helped get him moved out here to Denver. And he told me that he bought his mom a puppy for Mother's Day, a Maltese poodle. What did he name him? Denver, of course. Great choice, KJ. For Denver 7, 